Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Fallout 2. Now before we begin, I would like to sincerely apologize for the skipping of the video in the previous two parts. Now, I think I figured out what was going on. Basically, uh, my recording software, um, you know, just a tip for those of you who may want to record this as well, my recording software actually had the option to skip recording when frames were not updated and with such an old game like this even though it's running on direct x uh, 9 i think when you're talking to people which is when most of the skipping tended to happen i think frames were not being updated all the time so that's why my recording simply skipped uh, my software simply skipped recording anyway enough technical talk really really apologize for that I hope it wasn't too annoying. I know it skipped some important text somewhere and stuff, but let's just hope um, it won't happen again. This is a test, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Anyway, we're in Klamath. Uh, we just bought a round of drinks for everyone. This ain't your kind of place, punk. Alright, so let's see. Locals come to visit. Oh yeah. Well, it's just my educated opinion, but I can see, by the way, you move that you could do with a few pointers. Pointers? With what? About the sweet science, of course. The sport and art. Uh, the art? Are you talking about magic? Can you teach me magic spells? <laughs> what are you talking about? <gasps> Excuse me. Pugilism, I think. The manly art of hand-to-hand -hand combat. That's what I mean. Well, I guess I could use some help with that. Well, let's go outside and see what I can teach you. You see, it's all about getting your whole wee body to snap just like a whip. Uh-huh. Several sweaty hours later. So, you see what you were doing wrong then? Yes, I do. Thanks for taking me... Oh, actually, that was great. Let me give you $10 for some brew on me. It's the least I can do. No, no, no. I would... I could nay take money from me. It was from me. Ugh, I can't speak today. It was my very own pleasure to teach what I know. You take darn good care of yourself now. You've got real potential. That's great. Let me ask you one thing, though. Where did you learn how, how to fight like that? That was a long time ago, when I was a wee young lad and didn't have any sense in me thick head. A place called Reno. You keep your nose clean and stay away from the likes of that place. Where's Reno? I didn't want to tell you. You get on now. Just keep out of harm's way. Goodbye now. That probably demanded a Texan accent or something like that. So apologies for that. But yay, we got 150 experience just from learning uh, our hand-to-hand -hand combat. And now our... Oh yes. And we've leveled. So I just wanted to show you unarmed. It's at 65. Wow, that's not bad for such a character. We are agile. So, uh, But still, you know. Don't expect these characters which teach you to be around much longer though because uh yeah there's a couple at the beginning but from now on it'll be quite a rarity so anyway every few levels i think every f three levels we get a perk now perks are special things special bonuses you can pick um which give you like you know abilities and stuff like that it's pretty awesome most of them are really awesome well with awareness awareness you are given detailed information about any critter you examine you see their exact hit points and information about any weapon they're equipped with so this is kind of weird because it says critters uh, but you know it works for everything humanoids monsters bugs whatever so as you can see there's quite a lot of this stuff uh, at the moment we don't you know meet the prerequisite for many many of them so there's many many more but anyway Cautious nature is not that good, even though it's nice. Comprehension, no. Faster, no. Um, faster healing, no. Here and now, no. Kama Sutra, no. Yeah, there's actually a Kama Sutra master. When it comes to pleasing sexually, you wrote the book. <laughs> so, yeah. Night vision, no. Quick pockets, no. Quick pockets is not so bad if you uh, often go into your inventory in combat, but I don't really, you know, take it. Scout, yeah. Smooth talker, nah. Swiftler, thief. It's not too bad because you get 10% bon uh, bonus to sneak, lockpick, steal, and traps. But, you know, toughness, 10% your general damage resistance, that's not bad at all. But I'm gonna pick awareness because uh, it's really nice, um, you know, to see exactly how many hit points uh, things have. So you can adjust your strategies. Um, let's pick that. So there we go, we have awareness now. 
karma. We've got 80 karma. Virgin of the Wastes. You really need to get out more. Your sexual exploits have been, well, two-dimensional. So <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Arroyo, we're idolized because obviously that's where we come from. We're the chosen one. Klamath, we're accepted now. So, you know, we need to do more about this. Kills and all that. See, we've got stuff. Anyway. Uh, now we also get 18 skill points. Remember we, remember, we get 5 less skill points because we're gifted. But we'll put it into speech for now. Remember, each skill, skill point uh, gives us plus 2 speech because uh, we've got speech tagged. So we're already at 92. That's pretty damn awesome. Now this nice guy just... Hey! Looks like we've got ourselves a contender here. You gotta arm wrestle me, Chuck Dunton, if you want to drink in here. Uh, that's not really a good idea, because we're only at, what, five strength or something? I guess that's the only way I'll get some peace in here. I don't think I want to arm wrestle with you right now. Don't want to arm wrestle us? What, you think you're too good to arm wrestle against one of the Dunton brothers? Uh... <laughs> You look too wimpy. I only arm wrestle real man. Take off, you lo you hoser. <laughs> I think you'd hurt me if I arm wrestled you. So, what's this little wimp one from us anyway? Either of you ever heard about something called Garden of Eden Creation Kit? Yeah, we talk about them because it's this guy and that guy. They're brothers. You're looking for what? Closest I ever got to the Garden of Eden is in lovely Jenny's arms over at Ma's bathhouse. <laughs> Uh, thanks. Let me ask you something else, then. Um, have you heard anything about Brahmin mutilations around here? Well, I hear that there's some <laughs> bug man cutting up Brahmin out east of us, but I wouldn't believe everything you hear. <laughs> yeah, these guys are not very bright. I guess that's all I need for now. Goodbye. We could barter with them, I guess. Wait, actually, let me see. Barter. No, he doesn't have anything, so that's useless. I'm in the wrong bar, goodbye. No, there's a dog here, as you can see. Do we have any jerky? You see a large, mangy, buff-colored dog with a feral look to it. We don't have any jerky, oh well. You can give him jerky, he'll follow you around, but I think that's about it. I don't think you can actually do anything with him. Now, unlike the first Fallout, you can actually, you know, take all this stuff and nobody will bother you. In very special cases, People will have something to say to you, you know, just get, get your hands off that. You'll get a warning, I think you'll get two warnings and then they'll attack, so be careful. Now, lockpick is at number two, so let's try to lockpick this. Failed to pick the lock, we can jam the lock, so, uh, you know, we gotta be careful. And at this point in the game, we want to get as much stuff as possible. As much XP, as much... Loot, come on, there we go, definitely pick the lock. You know, it's funny because it's always say, you fail, you fail, you fail, you fail, and then you suddenly deftly pick the lock. It's like you've been doing it for years. There's a fuzzy painting here, which we can sell for a fairly nice amount of money. Meat jerky, excellent, some more meat jerky. Anything else? No. Where's the doggy? Come on, doggy, I'll give you some meat jerky. Where are you? Where is he? Huh. Oh, it was here. I guess you ran off. Anyway, let's go into the other parts of the building. That's always so awesome at the beginning of the game, just getting your stuff. I think this might be one of the developers, I'm not sure, or is it... An image of a singer? Oh, it's Elvis! Obviously very old. The image has a felt coating that is still in good condition. I think it's Elvis. I'm not sure, to be honest. Maybe wrong on that. I often am, so don't count on that being a right, the right information. So as you can see, these um, yeah places are all very well equipped, very stylish. Obviously, after the uh, nuclear apocalypse, there's not much you can do in the form of uh, fashion. Uh, we haven't been. Oh, we we have been here. Ha 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 ha! Very funny. Okay, no. Do we want to go left yet? No, we don't want to go there yet. There's actually a story about that. I guess I could go and destroy him, but I need to heal up first and foremost. There's actually a story. Why don't you go back to the Golden Gecko? Okay, fine. Jeez, have I already taken everything here? I don't know, I think I have. 
can't remember because it's been a few days since I played this because I, I decided to, you know, sort out this bloody skipping problem. Because it's really annoying. Oh, there's the doggy. Hello, doggy. Come here. Doggy. You look a. Staring into the dog's eyes. Hmm, I bet you sound angry because you want something. You're just hungry, aren't you, boy? Let me see if I have some delicious dry meat to give you. Woof! The mongrel happily grabs the yummy dry meat, dropping a key that must have been had. Uh, must, he must have had in his mouth. You pick up the key. Aw, oh, poor boy, you must have been hungry. Patting dog on head. Ah, so he does actually give you a key. Nice. Trap for town key. I think this is used for the back doors. You get one anyway when you talk to the guy. I'll get to that soon, in a bit. But yeah, now he'll follow us around because, you know, it's he's a nice doggy. I think in a in an apocalypse like this, if this was real life, I think I would want a dog, definitely, as my best friend. Now, you see, the problem with nighttime is you, you don't actually see the colors in this. Is this red or is this green? This is green, there we go. So th we go to another part of the town here. And if we talk to people, I can't remember where you talk to those people. They basically tell you that one night they saw some kind of weird light. Oh, we haven't been there yet. Like some kind of weird light overhead. Uh, and then horrible thunder. And then all cows get mutilated. And that was that robot there on the left. I'll tell you more about that. See, there's a dead pig rat. Yeah, there's actually mutated rats and everything. There's Brahmin. We can get some jerky here, I guess. Oh yeah, more food. And a s scorpion stinger, which we don't really need, but okay. Now let's see if there's anything else here. This is a butcher's, by the way. That's why all the mess. Don't worry, it's not a, you know, some kind of a mass murder or something here. Does this say human bones? What the hell? Does this guy kill humans as well? Yeah. What's this? Oh, that's a gecko. Golden gecko, even. Those are nasty golden geckos. You don't want anything to do with those at this level. But I'm afraid we'll just have to because, uh, well, we have a quest for that. I don't want to go into the porta potty. Anyway, let's uh, go to our pit boy, which is where we can choose to sleep up here. Let's uh, sleep until morning. Now you can, you'll see our health over here go up, depending on our. Hey. Eh? Why? Oh, there's the health, sorry. It doesn't update down there. There's the health. 39 out of 42, that's fine for me. You know, you, you can just sleep on the floor, it doesn't matter. So... Now let's be careful, because this guy could be a little nasty, he's pretty hurt. There we go. This robot has sustained a great deal of damage. Its surface is covered with dense scratches. Uh, mud and broken wires. It has 60 out of 60 HPs, but has crippled limbs. So, you know, we'll have Probably not that much of a problem. We've got a strong punch anyway, so let's get a little closer But I am a translator <laughs> 61 that's not too bad. I Think we'll get the next sequence as well, so I'll just stay there. Yes, we will and then we'll run away He'll probably be able to hit us no, he won't, so we can use the same thing with so many action points. Damn it. Don't worry, we'll get our guns soon enough. I think we still need to pick up that... Um, um, shotgun, but it's not very good. And by the way, this is how it looks if you select a robot like this. CPU, sensors, manipulate. You know, it's awesome, it's always awesome to see these pictures. And if you have fast shot and stuff like that, you never get to see this. Because, um, you know, you, you can't actually select which parts of the ro robot you want to attack. Nanu, nanu. What the hell? And how these guys die is, is also pretty awesome. Now, it's pretty important that we go this way, because uh, we'll pick up something that will be really useful for later parts of the game. Danger, Bill Williamson. Bain, danger. Yeah, these are all... Um, Movie references, I believe. Oh, come on. There we go. Just don't die over there. How many hit points does he have? 30. So we've uh, pretty much gotten half of it down. 
<laughs> yeah, there's a lot of humor in this game, both crude and, uh, you know, sophisticated humor. It's just awesome. Oh, come on, you bloody thing. Nice. Nice. And there is the Verdi bird. Pop. <laughs> anyway, we'll uh, take care of that Verdi bird in a little bit. Let's just finish this guy off. Oh, you're gonna die there, aren't you? And main structure under attack, correcting. I don't even know why I'm speaking with a 70s robot voice. Come on, how, how close are you to death? Five. So two more hits and he's gone. One more. There we go. Ooh, look at that, and oil coming out, it's pretty awesome. So anyway, we got 200 XP, that's major for this level. Let's see what our um, XP is. We need 2,700 more. We can't really loot this guy, unfortunately, but here's the Verdi Bird. Crashed Verdi Bird. Um, this is what people have been talking about, you know. Something went overhead, and they don't actually know these things. Um, and these are actually a person in strange type of armor. So, let's go over this way and loot him. You see he's uh, cut in half, probably by the rotor. And there is the yellow reactor keycard. Now, if you play this game for the first time, you'll go, what the hell is that? What, <laughs> you know, reactor keycard? But yeah, just uh, keep it and it'll come in handy. There's nothing else we can do here, unfortunately. But it's quite nice. I, I love the story behind this the first few times I played. It was so mysterious, so, you know, scary, actually. He, uh, because people are saying that you can hear horrible screams at night. And uh, cows m get mutilated there and stuff. It's pretty awesome. There's the doggy following us. Now let's go to the uh, other part of the town. Oh, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Vic. How, m how much do we have? 57 out of 110. We can pick up the shotgun and such. Even if we don't use it, we'll uh, take the... We'll take the uh, ammunition. You know, and... Uh, use it for something else. Let's go over there. Vix. And now where was the shotgun? It was here, right? Yes, and the radio. Now, the, the shotgun, as I said, is pretty poor. 5 to 12 damage, range 20... Uh, I don't know, it's not that bad. I guess with an aimed shot, it could be okay. But we'll see. Look at this kid. Come on, kid, get out of there. There's bloody goo all over the place. Get out. You know, let's go to the second part of the town, where there's much more hap... Oh, no, these are the... We're not supposed to go here yet. <clears throat> I knew there were two entrances, I was just wondering, oh, I guess both of them go to the same place. No, they don't. This one goes to a different place. You can also open your Pip-Boy and uh, click the auto map for Klamath, and then you can see, here's the town. It's not that good, yes, I know. But, you know, you do get exits. Uh, why don't I see the exits here? They should be here. Oh, well, anyway, let's go to the second part of the town. You have entered Trapper Town. So, there we go. Now this is, there's more quests here, or a big one, I guess. And yes, everything is very nice, as you can see, very comfy, very homely. No, no, no only one kind of good travel, and that's a, no, no. Yeah, okay, they don't like me, whatever. Street lights, that helps. What are you looking at? Charming. And there's these guys. We ain't got nothing left to steal here. Watch out, or you'll end up just like Phil. Damn tribals always stirring up trouble. I'm not stirring up trouble. Bloody idiots. Okay, anyway. We have to go here first. To this guy. And uh, this guy will basically give you the key to these doors. Uh, but we already have a key, so, you know. But I'll do it anyway, because I think you get some XP for it. I'm not sure. I, maybe not. Hello. <coughs> Excuse me. Hello there, friend. Nice of you to visit all of us here. My name's Slim Pickett. I talk, uh, I talk for Trapper Town. Hello there, Sl Slim. My name's Metal Canyon. <laughs> what, why do you call this Trapper Town? Well, this here part of town is where all of us trappers live when we're not out trapping geckos. 
Only problems about the free digs are that the rats are on the northern side. We have most of the entrances to that part of the mall barricaded. Pretty good. Do you ever go to the north side? We blocked off all the entrances to the north side of town except one. I have a key to that one entrance, just in case anyone needs to get over there for any reason. I can't figure out why anyone would want to, though I sure wouldn't. Interesting. Tell me something else. Tell me about trapping geckos. You're interested in trapping, huh? He looks you up and down. I don't think I'd, I'd try it if, if I were you. You might get your hands all dirty and calloused. <laughs> Anything else you want to know about? Uh, I sure wish I was a skilled trapper as you are. I bet you could teach me a lot. I could teach you something about the outdoors, but it's going to cost you 100. No, that's a lot of money. Just tell me what you know about other things. Do you know anything about a Garden of Eden creation kit? Oh, you mean a gag, huh? Well, I saw an ad for one of those in an old magazine, but I don't think they exist anymore. Certainly not around here any place. Really? Well, tell me something else. You sure have a lot of cars here? We have a whole lot of full of cars, all ready for their owners to come back from shopping. Thing is, they never did. Not a dang one of them runs, though. There's a real beauty of a chrysalis motors highwayman just east of here but i haven't figured out how to get to it yet a highwayman interesting tell me about something else rats well they taste pretty good if you spit roast them with just a titch of herbs but most of the time they can be a real nuisance and they're getting worse we've barricaded the north side of town but they're sneaking through anyway there's one door to the north side right here but i have it locked at home, mum just used to pan fry them with a little butter. <laughs> but tell me more about the rat attacks. People have been disappearing. Just them that are slow and sickly for now. Of course, they don't stop to cook their food like us. They just gnaw into it a few bloody clumps of hair and rags. At least that's all we find in the morning. I've even heard talk that there's some kind of giant rat god that tells them what to do. Interesting. Uh... Okay, so we can't do anything here. Okay. Can't remember how we get the key from him. It doesn't really matter because we have the key, but... Oh well. Hello. Nice tribal. Good tribal. Don't hurt me. Yeah. Very nice people. Alright, let's go to this guy. This guy is pretty cool. Oh no, that's not this guy. Anyway, doesn't matter. Oh, gecko pelts and healing powder. I guess I can take that. Thank you, ma'am. Sorry about stealing. Ah, a locked door. We shall open that. Not a problem. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. We're gonna jam the bloody doors, aren't we? Yes, 25 experience. Not bad. Anything here? There's a locker. Oh, two golden gecko pelts and six... Eight. That was six uh, normal gecko pelts. I'm surprised we can actually pick this all up, you know? We must be almost at the limit now. Now, I know we don't need to unlock these doors, but, you know, it's 25 experience. Why not? Uh, there's nothing else except this thing. You know, when you play a game, when you play this game a few times um, over... You'll pretty much learn which objects you can interact with and which not. This, for example, you can't, or any of these barrels, you know, they're just scenery. But this thing, you can. There's nothing in it, of course, but you just learn it as you go. Alright, so I think that's about it, what we can do here. So we'll have to, yeah, we'll have to open the doors. Now, what you can do here is you can... Go to your inventory, uh, the mouse scroll wheel works, wow, that's awesome, because usually I just went uh, like this. Uh, you, you can put the key, like this, and then use on the doors, or, whoops, alternatively, you can just click and hold on the doors and select your inventory, and then select the key. And there we go, that does nothing? What? Oh, these doors aren't closed. <laughs> Silly me. These doors are closed. There we go. You unlock the door. And now we can go through. Now, as uh, the guy has told us, this part is overrun with rats. And to be honest, I think, now that I have the money, I'll actually go back and get Solik. 
Because he's a pretty good melee fighter and I'll probably want a little help here because we don't have a proper weapon yet except that shotgun. And I don't think we'll be doing too much damage with that because also our, um, you know, small gun skill isn't that high. So let's go get Solik. What's this guy doing? It's just a citizen, yeah. Oh, shut up. I'm not going to steal anything. I guess I could. What can we and I do you for? Uh, actually, never mind. I'll just talk to her. Um, no, not you. Her mom. There she is. Say, let me ask you some th for something. I was wondering if you were the first person to talk about local news events. No. What the hell? Who who do I talk to? What can we and I do you for? What are you doing? Slave has got our sis. We all made at oh, three hundred fifty yeah. dollars. Here's You're heading south. We walk about with you and look for sis. You having three hundred fifty dollars? Yes. Here's the three fifty dollars. Yeah, we be giving this to Maida, then we be free. Want us to walk by and by? That'd be great. We're there. Grandpa Bones say we might find sis with you. I hope so. In any case, it will be nice to travel with you and uh, your grandfather's bone. Not just Grandpa Bone, all tribe spirits. Grandpa Bone just wiser and stronger than the rest. Let's ease on down. Uh, yeah. Okay, so look. <laughs> Alright, so here's our first party member now. What you be needing? So now, instead of barter, we have trade. So, you know, you can just transfer stuff between these two, between your character and Solik freely, and you've got combat control as well. So, you know, use best weapon, he's got a sledgehammer. Use best armor, he's got a leather jacket, which we'll take, of course. Look at his skill uh, hit points, 85 versus 39 for us. Well, we've got 42 maximum. But still, this is pretty major. So, the only, you know, custom... The only problem is... Burst is not applicable because he's using a melee weapon. You need a tourniquet. Yeah, see, for some characters, you can't really select ob object coward and your finger hurts and stuff like that because he's, you know, very brave. Range, then melee. No, just do melee for now. Distance. Charge. No, stay close to me. I don't like them charging and getting killed. That's what usually happens. Attack who? Whoever is attacking me. Stimpaks when hurt... A lot when hurt a bit rather no a lot he's got a lot of hit points so anyway right and now the problem is if you equip the sledgehammer and leather jacket there's no way to get him off you have to talk to him you have to say I need to talk to you about your you gear got put, it, friend. put your uh, armor you away got it, friend. and then we'll steal the armor from him <laughs> And we'll give him the heavy gecko pelts and all of that. I guess we could sell them, actually. I don't think I can carry all that. Yes, I can. Excellent. Let me try and sell this. No. No, no, no. First of all, we'll get idolized. And then we'll get better prices for these things. It's not major, but, you know, at this point of the game, it kind of... It kind of counts how much money we get. Now, he's got a limit, but we won't know how much. I mean, we do, but not here, which is kind of annoying. You you can't see. Now, I'm not giving him the, uh, the knives because he can just throw them all of a sudden and waste them. And you have to pick them up and such, but this will do. So this is nice. He's our carry mule. Now, let's put the leather jacket on. Bang! Look at that. Snazzy. Or something. Anyway, instead of 9 AC, we now have 17 AC. The higher, the better. Yeah, we, we really look like a drug dealer now. Come on, where's Solik? There he is. And the doggy following us as well. Too bad he doesn't follow you into Trapper Town. Would come in handy. We got 500 experience points. That's pretty awesome. So, can I have that? No, you can't. Good my. Right. Let's go take care of those bloody rats. Do you want to play a game? No, I don't. Sorry, I'm gonna kill rats. That's not for small kids. What you doing? I just told you. Do you like kids? <laughs> Look at them. Stay away from there. Right, guns. That's definitely somewhere I want to go. Oh no, we, we'll open these doors first, but that's okay. Is there any rats here? Anyway, so x-ray vision enabled. There we are. Those are all rats. That's what we'll have to kill. Now, on that side, over there, I can't see it yet. Oh, he opens the doors for us. Now, on that side, where is it? Oh, I thought it was on that side, never mind. 
I think there's something in these three. Maybe even pistol, that would be pretty awesome. Uh, let's get this one first. Uh, boots, these are not bad actually, they're quite heavy, but they'll come in handy. Some bullets, very nice. Boots are used for, um, oh, another set, for when you're walking over toxic goo, which uh, actually can burn you and do damage. And it actually, um, you know, has a little side effect, which is quite funny. Ow. Three hit points, bloody small rat. Come on. Solik, where are you? Come on. Yeah, you don't control them. Nice. Yeah. Three bloody hit points from a bloody small rat. I mean, okay, I guess they're mutated or something. Come on. Solik, I'm doing everything here. Oh. Well, come on, come to me. Oh, they're not coming. Okay. Never mind them. There we go. Strong punch. Yeah. Mm. Oh, he's uh, reaching for the knife. Ow! See, he does he does a lot of damage with these things. But come on, man. What you be need? You got sounds good. Ugh. That's a problem. See, he didn't have enough action points to use a sledgehammer. Uh, so he got out the knife. But then he keeps the knife. You know, you have to tell him to, to use your best weapon again. It's a bit annoying, but no. Uh, Ooh, that was close. Yeah, that was a crit, wasn't it? No, it was just six hit points. Bloody hell. Ew. Oh. Yeah. Damn it. Nice. Kill the other one. Come on, then. See, that, that's what I'm talking about. 13 hit points, and he didn't even, even crit. Quite ridiculous. Pretty awesome. Now this rat didn't see us yet, so I'm just initiating combat because if you get right next to it, it will initiate combat and attack first. And wow, we did six points of damage. Who's attacking us? No one. Alright, let's uh, see what's here. Nothing. Anything here? Nope. Hello? Oh. Hello, rat. Yeah, you get a lot of XP here in this mission. Or quest, should I say. Because not only are you killing a lot of things, you will also get nice um, XP for turning the quest in. Which is always awesome. Whoa! Bastard. Now, some rats can actually poison you, but it's mostly, I think, pig rats, mutated pig rats and such like that. Come on, man. So many rats. Don't worry, this is just the beginning. <laughs> yeah. Kill them all. I know Solik seems a little useless now, right now, but don't worry about it. He will prove his worth, especially with some powered sledgehammers and stupid stuff like that. It's quite ridiculous what you can get. Ugh. Come on, man. We bring the pain to you and yours. <laughs> Don't be careful though, because this is okay. This, you see, it's it's got a slightly orange tint. I pro it probably should have made it red or something, but this means you'll actually hit Solik. And the problem is, if you're using a burst weapon like a you know machine gun or something, and if you do a full burst and actually hit your um, uh, NPCs enough, they will turn on you. And there's no going back from that, usually. They will try to kill you. And that's the end of your partnership, I guess. There's a poor guy. Strong peasant. He looks dead, yeah. No kidding. Right, let's go down into the abyss. Now, we'll continue the... Jeez, 34 minutes! Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully the skipping of the video is gone. I am uh, holding my, uh, holding my fingers? No, not really, but, you know, hoping. So, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.